So that would be my number one photography tip and that's the one thing that improved my photography when the light is coming from just from the opposite side, you know. Good morning and welcome to Salzburg. My name is Gerhard. Monday it means it's three weeks of quarantine in Salzburg. In a week it's Eastern. Eastern is usually when tourist season starts in Salzburg. Tourist season it goes until October usually, so it's very long, but that's not gonna happen this year. My free walking tours are not happening. No, no tourists here, but I will, I will keep working on content. I'm organizing my images. And while I was organizing my images, I really missed photography. So this morning I came to the rooftop and what I want to do in this video is I want to share the pictures I took this morning. And then I thought of one thing, one photography secret I would like to share with you. Let's look at my pictures and afterwards I will tell you how to improve your photography. you liked these images I will now start to share more pictures on social media I was looking through my archives and I have lots of pictures I never published if you want to see more of my photography I link all my social media channels in the description below secret the thing that changed my photography forever if you use natural light it doesn't depend on the camera everyone can take pictures of the sunset you have seen every picture already you have seen especially touristy places like salzburg everyone can take the same picture from the fortress or from anywhere to get a an image that's just special a special image is you have to go out at the time of the day when no one is willing to go out. Be for example May, June, July when, it's, when the sun rises really early. You have to go out at 4.30 in the morning and that's when you get the best pictures. And also an experience that almost no one else has because the streets are empty. 4.30, 5 o'clock, no locals in the streets, no tourists in the streets. You, the city is yours and there is no one and the sun rises at 5 o'clock. So there is, there is daylight. So that would be my number one tip. Go out when no one else is going out. That for me, it means May, June, July at five, being out at 5 o'clock in the morning because everyone can take those sunset pictures. Um, and then it also means that when the weather is bad, when the, a storm is coming, every, everyone is running away, and you're heading out, as long as it's not dangerous, of course. Think, what can I do to get a unique angle on whatever I'm taking a picture of? So that would be my number one photography tip, and that's the one thing that improved my photography. When the light is coming from just from the opposite side, you know? Light is so important. And then everyone takes the picture when the sun is setting, coming from this side. If you get up at 5 a.m. and the sun is rising instead of setting, you get the opposite kind of light. So that's it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed the photography tips and the pictures. If you want to see more of my images in the near future, subscribe to the social media channels I listed below. I'm done going through my archives now and will start posting today and I will release more videos in the near future, tomorrow and the days after, about Salzburg, about tour guiding. Um, and these videos are supposed to prepare you for your future visit to Salzburg. When you visit Salzburg in the future, you can be sure that I'm here. I'm waiting for you to be able to guide you again. For now, I hope you stay safe stay healthy, stay positive, and let's stay home for now. I hope to see you soon. I hope we can soon travel again. I hope I can soon welcome you to Salzburg again. If there is anything you want, <clears throat> you want to say to me, post it in the comments below, contact me. I'm available, I'm home, and yeah, that's it. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.